afternoon, but looks dry here going forward. Nine o'clock temperature, 80 degrees. It's still warm. It's fuel, still humid, but the cooler temperatures, yes, they are on the way. So here's a look at radar this evening. A completely quiet picture now, but that wasn't the case a little bit earlier this afternoon. This is a six hour radar satellite loop, and you can see the complex of showers and storms over northeast Nebraska that dropped just west of the metro to near Lincoln and then fell apart. And some of these storms were severe for a while. In fact, in parts of Seward County, they saw very large hail up to softball size. So, you know, certainly some bad storms and just west of Omaha, uh, but we stay dry. We'll look a little bit further to the north, though. Notice this big swirl in southern portions of Canada. This is the upper level low. This is going to be moving off to the south and east, and it's going to drag some cooler air behind it. And so eventually that will be moving in our direction, especially as we head to tomorrow. 87 degrees, though. That's our current temperature at Appley. We've seen this late day sunshine, and this really still heated things up even a little bit more. So uh, winds are light and it's still quite muggy. Here's some other temperatures from a Across the viewing area. Uh, portions of western Iowa, it's been cooler there today, lower to mid 80s. Back to the south and west, a few 90s for both Lincoln and Beatrice. But everywhere you go in the viewing area, it's humid. Uh, the dew points are still well over 70 degrees, so it's muggy all through eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. So that leads us to have an heat index, and it feels like 93 in Omaha, 100 in Lincoln, and 104 in Beatrice. So just having all that moisture in the air makes it feel all the more worse. So here's your hourly planner through the next several hours. It'll be muggy at least through the evening and into the early overnight. But once we head a little bit further into your Sunday, the early morning hours, temperatures will cool off and we'll start to see some of that drier air arrive into the area. So here's your storm predictor. You see front dropping to our south. The northwest breeze starts to pick up. That will be with us all day tomorrow to bring that cooler air mass into the picture. So breezy, still warm. We'll be in the low 80s, but much cooler than what we've seen over the last several days. And then clear skies heading into early Monday morning. Temperatures Monday early, maybe started off in the upper 50s for some spots. A light northwest wind on Monday still, and it's warm. Uh, but certainly a big change from what we've seen over the last couple of days. 80 degrees at 9 o'clock tonight, still warm, still muggy. We'll fall back to a low temperature of around 65, so a little bit cooler than what we saw last night. And then that drier air really starts to get in here tomorrow. A nice start for Sunday. Temperature 68 degrees at 8 a.m., 84 by tomorrow afternoon. And a north breeze will be refreshing at 15 to 25 miles an hour. And looking ahead here at your seven day forecast, there's just not a lot of change. Now that we've seen this front going through, we get to a pretty um, dominant weather pattern that features really comfortable temperatures in the low 80s, not much humidity, unfortunately not a lot of rain chances either. We would like to see some moisture here in Omaha, but there's not going to be any real